Okay, we're going to get started on that um, t-shirt blouse. Um, this is the one we're going to make. I'm going to use this um, purple uh, t-shirt that I got three for a dollar. So we're only talking about 33 cents um, on this t-shirt, so not a bad deal. So this is all it is. It's real simple. Just a real basic, um, basic um, blouse. That's it. There's nothing to it. Okay, so I just put, um, on the back I used um, the soft Velcro, I used the soft and flexible sew-on so it wouldn't snag too badly if it got stuck on the knit. So, um, or you can uh, put snaps on the back, you don't have to um, use um, the Velcro. I also hand stitched my hem. You can do it by machine if you want to. I just hand stitched it because I wanted to keep this having a real nice soft look. Same with the neckline. If I would have sewn the neckline uh, with the sewing machine instead of whip stitching the uh, inside of it, I would have got a flatter neckline where it would have looked more like a t-shirt. By um, whip stitching the back uh, to the uh, seam, I got more of a soft, soft look. So depending on what you want, if you want it to look like more t-shirty, then sew it with the sewing machine. If you want a really nice, soft um, looking blouse for your doll, um, do a little bit of hand sewing. The only problem with this kind of knit is even with a hand stitch, you're going to see a little, you're going to have to see a little bit of the stitches uh, through the outside. Um, unless you're really good at um, just catching a tiny little piece of that. Um, but you want it sturdy enough so it'll stay together. Okay, so first thing you want to do when you cut up a t-shirt that you buy at the thrift store like this is save the sleeves because these little sleeves here, they make great um, tank tops for the dolls. All you have to do is cut some strips and you can put in some spaghetti straps. So that's um, really a great way to use these sleeves up. So a lot you get a lot of these new t-shirts at the, at the thrift stores because um, they're usually like this was the robotics club or something in Shawnee, um, Shawnee um, Kansas. So they probably had lots and lots of t-shirts left over so they donate them to the thrift shops. Um, usually you can find them. I've, I've all you know you can go to a lot of thrift shops and, and not find any new t-shirts, but then you can go to other ones and they've just loaded with um, free um, free t-shirts or three for a dollar t-shirts or however you want. To. You can even get them at um, Michael's or someplace like that. And uh, you can just make your, go ahead and make your little tank top, put a little seam here, a couple spaghetti straps, a little closure in the back and you've got yourself a little tank top for the doll. Okay, so we've got that sleeve cut off, so let's go ahead and pick a side that we can cut open. So we'll go ahead and cut right here because there is no seam on this. It's a circular t-shirt. So I didn't wash this. They say they're pre-shrunk and um, they were all folded nice and neat, so I figured I didn't need to wash them, but if you want to wash your t-shirt, go right ahead and wash them. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this here. If you want to save um, the ribbing and use it for something, that would be uh, good to do too. Just cut the ribbing off and you can have a bunch of ribbing um, for uh, something else. I don't see if there's a seam in the ribbing either. Nope, there's no seam in the ribbing, so let's make one. Okay, All right, so that's good enough for now. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and open this up, and I am going to use that when robots attack for the front of um, my t-shirt. I've got, um, I don't really care how this turns out, it's not the biggest, you know, it's not a big deal. If it doesn't look good when we're done, well, it didn't cost me anything but 33 cents and some time. So um, I have to decide if I want to do when robots attack at the bottom or if I want to do when robots attack Shawnee. I think I'll do the whole saying, when robots attack Shawnee. So I can see through my paper here. So I'm going to go ahead and just line that up and leave myself enough room at the bottom so I can put my hem in. 
So let's see if that's pretty even, looks pretty even to me. So let's go ahead and iron this down. And then once it's ironed, you can actually lift it up and check again for uh, location. I think that's about uh, as good as I'm going to get with this design being as big as it is. This um, works good if you have, um, like here, I could I could come up here and write, I could come up here and put urgent news instead of the robots attack Shawnee. So, you know, it's up to you what you want to see if you can, or you can just do the top of the robot, you know, it's just whatever you want. It's just pick a spot and stick with it. I'm going to do when robots attack Shawnee. Okay, so let's just go ahead and cut that out. You can use any knit fabric. You can use any kind of fabric. You don't even have to make it out of knits. You can use regular fabric. You're not going to get that real nice collar, but um, it'll be more of a, like a cotton collar. Okay, that didn't work. Let's just cut this one again so it looks nicer. This one. Okay, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Tear this off and see what it looks like. Okay, so that is going to be. I'm going to have a little bit of wording right here, but you can't have everything. So let's see what that would look like. And, and, and try it on your doll. If you don't think you're going to like it, don't use that design. Go somewhere else and try a different. So that's what it's going to look like. Robots. Attack Shawnee. Okay, so let me cut the rest of it out, and when I come back, we'll um, start sewing it together. Okay, I have got all the pieces cut out. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the grain, so you know which way I cut these things. Um, well, you know the first piece, I cut it up and down with the grain like a regular t-shirt. Same with the front and the back pieces. And then for the um, sleeves, I cut them this way with the grain, up and down. Same with the collar, I cut that up and down. The reason I did that is so that when you do fold it and sew it up, it lays nice and flat and it's almost like creating your own um, ribbing. And that's why you cut that up and down with the grain. This is getting those purple fuzz balls all over it. Another thing you can do is if you want, you can save the uh, ribbing off of the uh, existing t-shirt and use that in lieu of the um, uh, collar. But it's basically the same thing because once you cut your uh, piece of fabric out and fold it in half, you're going to get that same ribbing effect. It just won't be as uh, stretchy as the actual ribbing itself. Um, if you do this and you do cut off the, the neckline of a t-shirt, don't bother trying to take all these stitches out because you're still going to have plenty of fabric to work with if you don't do that. Oops, there goes one of the other t-shirts. So anyway, um, you have enough for the dolls because when, it, when you use the ribbing on a doll, um, you're only going to use, you have more than enough uh, for like a, a, a sleeve or a uh, neckline to still get your uh, seam in there. So why bother trying to take all those stitches out when you really don't have to? Okay, so anyway, that was um, all the pieces. 
So front, two back pieces. You've got two sleeves. Your sleeves are just basically, all they are is a um, uh, canoe. And we're just going to sew this in half and, uh, and that will be our sleeve on the side of the blouse. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my purple thread on. I've got this one already ready to sew. And we'll get started on the actual sewing part. I'm using a jersey needle, uh, purple thread, and um, we'll get started. 